Hey guys, I'm Mikey back here for the video guys. Today we have a new series we're starting. I actually did this literally all of Mutt 17, all of Mutt 18, and I stopped in Mutt 19. But guys, I had this series going for from Mutt 17 to Mutt 18, 365 days in a row, every episode daily for my daily sniping series with my gamer guys we did this literally every single day and now i'm bringing this back if you guys enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe button guys pretty much what we do in this video is we talk about some month we talk about some madden and we go ahead and go sniping now if you guys would like to snipe with me obviously you can go ahead and use your own filters or use the filters i'm using in this video but the point is just a chilled relaxed you know video where we just snipe together so let's say for example you're like i don't know what to do when i'm sniping today where do i snipe what do i do this video is going to be tips and tricks, but also type of a more chill video. It's not like more energetic where it's like, oh yeah, you look, look. no, no. We're just chilling back, doing some sniping. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe button. Also, guys, we are sniping at a low coin value at 40,000 coins. Now, I saw something in my another video I actually talked about like, oh, why are you making a coin video when you have no coins? Well, first off, I did sit, uh, buy or oh, spend 160,000 coins before that video, but also... I feel like it's better to, you know, show how to make coins at a low, a low coin amount than having 6 million coins and trying to make coins because it's like, that's great and all, but I don't know how many guys out there who have 6 million coins. So the majority of people watching my video or trying to get the content to go ahead and better their teams aren't going to have the crazy coin amounts, right? They're going to have the, you know, my coin amounts, the 30, 40,000 coins. So that's what I do like to show is I like to show that, you know, it doesn't, take 60 million coins to do some of these methods i'm doing you can do them when it's you pretty much have no coins at all it's not about like oh i have 100 million coins it's oh you know what i'm going ahead and i'm starting with 20,000 coins and as you saw in my one video i was able to make you know 20,000 coins i got two 50k pools now i turn 30,000 coins into 130,000 coins right so it's like it's just a mixture of you can start at the very bottom and walk your way up and having six million coins and be like oh i have six million coins and you have to do this method and spend two million but you make back six million it's like that's great and all but not many people have that many coins especially if you're no money spent like i am you know we don't start with that many coins i mean if you open up six million coin uh dollars with the packs you're good but if you don't you can see guys so another thing i like to do when i am sniping and it's just me personally if you're a math wizard you don't have to do this but if you are not a math wizard or you just want to have this just in case pull out a calculator maybe on your phone obviously all phone had calculators or you can pull out an actual calculator if you are you know you have it like that but nonetheless though pretty much what i like to do is i like to go ahead and have that out at all times just in case you know we see a car we're like okay what does it just you know with tax what 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 um how much would i make back for this it is actually a snipe and keep in mind guys um it is 10 percent tax so what you want to do is take whatever number the cheapest card is up for for example twenty thousand coins and you want to multiply it by 0 0.9 not 0 0.1 even though 10 percent technically 10 percent would show you how much you know it would be uh how much the tax would be but 0.9 shows you your profit after you sell the card. So, for example, 20,000 coins times 0.9 would be 18,000. You could do it by 0.1, but all you're going to get back is 2,000. And then you have to subtract the main value from that value, which is easy. But if we're talking about, you know, like hundreds of thousands of coins, it gets a little bit more challenging. But let's see what though. And again, these videos are going to just be more chill, relaxed. Hopefully you do enjoy them. So guys, what I want to talk about today is going to be Madden at 20 as a whole. Now I've played a lot of games online and a lot of my games, I'm not even at this point even trying to like win the game. I'm just trying to lab and see what works and what doesn't work in this year's game. And I got to say one thing is like, so obviously zones are broken this year. You can manipulate zones very, very easy this year. Fumbling is an issue where you pretty much will fumble the ball if you throw across the middle of the field stuff like that you know i feel like no matter what madden comes out because uh, personally speaking i'll tell you this right now guys i really like this madden i really like madden 20 and i think over the last previous years i've complained about a lot of madden and i've not really liked too too many madden's crazily 
but I really do like Madden 20. I feel like they, a lot of things I feel like I have issues with, they fixed this year. And I feel myself less complaining about certain things, except for, again, fumbles and probably zones. But other than that, those two things, very small compared to the overall scheme of things. But I kind of feel like this year, man, it's like, you can, I can have a game where I play someone, I'll put up 40 points, my defense gives up 45. So, even though pressure this year is not as, you know, I know a lot of people are saying how pressure this year is really bad, how in previous years, obviously, it's been a lot different. Uh, previous years, you could get, like, non-stop pressure. This year, they're kind of holding back on that. Now, I have seen videos of people who post videos, you know, showing, like, oh, run this exact concept and you're gonna get a guy coming in untouched every single time. Now, I know some people say like, oh, that's cheesy, that breaks the game. I kind of feel like at this point, that's what Madden is. Like, with how, you know, Madden is as a landscape right now, actually, let's go ahead and snipe these super solid players. With how Madden is right now as a landscape, I feel like that's just how Madden is at this point. Like. We have plays where it's like, oh, one play touchdowns or, you know, stuff like that. I feel like that's kind of part of the game. I know a lot of people complain about it. And to a certain degree, I do too. Like when, you know, people go online, they run the cheesy plays over and over and over again. But that's just how Madden is. And it, it kind of comes down to you just kind of have to adjust to that. Because there is plays to stop it. Like, for example, if someone's running PA crosses every single play against you, it's so annoying. How do you stop that? You go to 3-4, run Tampa 2. Uh, put your middle linebacker in the middle on a deep pat on a deep zone Go ahead and use the right hand side of the field cover those two crossing routes with your user The sit one safety will cover the other one you shut it down I mean, I've never had an issue with PA crossers for that reason So there's always ways to stop every single play and this year is a little bit more difficult because the fact that again this year the game is kind of like broken it seems like with zones but still like as the game come, goes on and on, there's going to be more and more patches added to the game to fix a lot of these issues. But in general, though, I just, I don't know. I just really do like this year as a whole. And actually, real fast, I'm going to go ahead and make a point here. Someone commented down below and told me this, and I have not used it too, too much. But someone commented down below and said, hey, I'm using a campaign app, and it's great for sniping. I haven't used it way too that much, but I know a lot of people are preaching about this uh, cam about the campaign app and sniping off there. Um, I guess it kind of does make sense because you don't have to use like a controller You can just use your hand and you could be a lot faster doing that I don't know that maybe if you guys want to see it Maybe I'll do a video on me using just a campaign app for sniping and stuff like that Because I know a lot of people are preaching by it and to be honest speaking wise I kind of do want to give it a try just to see how it is um, Obviously it's a little bit different than sniping through you know using console because I'm used to console I'm not used to Use a campaign app and let me see how much is our Sean Jeff 56,000 coins. Okay, so again, sometimes what I like to do is just look at this guy 56,000 coins, and you can even write it down if you really wanted to go and take 35,000, right? So we go ahead and do this, and again, we're doing 59 minutes method on. I mean, it is a snipe technically, like it was a it, okay, I my bad on that one, that was technically a snipe. That was a 2,000 coin snipe. So he was up for 30,000 coins. She was up with is 3540. So I did miss that one technically, but eh, 0.9. I would have made uh, 1,900 coins. So again, like for example, I, I completely missed that one. I probably should have went with that one because that is. Oh, actually, no. It would have been a 1,200 coin snipe because I didn't see the 700 at the end. So not bad. I, I should have went for it, but it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, so with that in mind guys, it is thunder something really bad outside So I might have to cut this video a little bit shorter than I would like to just because like I don't want to lose power and not be able to get this video up for you guys But yeah, so those type of snipes like again a lot of times when you go for low overall lower overall snipes like this My perspective is you want to go ahead and you know take every coin you can so right there I should have taken that I should have taken that I ship him up for 36,000 coins I probably would have been able to sell for 36,000 coins because these cards do go like hotcakes so I should have taken advantage of that but overall wise that's a good example and you know a lot of times people look at that and be like okay well that's only you know 1200 coins who cares well it adds up so if I do this you know let's say I get a snipe like that every 10 minutes right we go 10 minutes okay so say every 10 minutes 1200 times six 
that's around 7,000 coins an hour, which of course that's not, you know, ideal, but that's saying that's guaranteed. That's at least going to be, and you probably get more than one every 10 minutes. But the point is that at least that's guaranteed, right? And then every once in a while, you'll get a gold taste someone put up for like 20,000 coins. Now you're making 10,000 coin profit and it just slowly adds up. So with that in mind, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe button. Again, you can snipe at low coin amounts. I know a lot of people, you know, they show sniping videos or they show videos where they have 6 million coins. And that's great and all. That's fantastic. But that's just not, you know, plausible for the general public of Mutt. That's not the general, you know, Mutt player. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.